Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, good morning class, especially for literal reading class uh, 1B and also 1C. Uh, I'm really sorry because in uh, my previous meeting, I couldn't come to the class because uh, suddenly my uh, son, uh, my third son uh, was uh, having problem with uh, his health. And I need, uh, I need to go to the doctor, and I've got the, uh, what's that crash schedule, uh, with the doctor's appointment. So I'm really sorry for that, and hopefully, uh, my uh video explanation will give you the same way when I. Uh, in when I'm in the classroom, um, when I'm teaching these materials, so <clears throat> hopefully it's fine for you to have my video explanation about the first material about literal reading. So before we go further about the material, I need to introduce myself first. Uh, my name is Shadung Raha and I will be your uh, literal reading lecturer for this whole semester. And uh, I have already sent you the RPS. Uh, you can see uh, the uh, points for every meeting and uh, also uh, given you the uh, main source for our literal reading uh, book. Yeah. And uh, Beside that, beside my video uh, explanation, I also give you the uh, PDF of my first material. So um, I was born in uh, Garut on 8 March 1983. So I am uh, 39 years old now. I have a family. I have a wife and also three sons. Uh, 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 they are really... Uh, uh, they're really uh, part of my life yeah uh, the, the first uh, son is uh, uh, 13 years old now and then my second one is seven years old and then uh, the third one is uh, three years old now okay uh, my educational background um, I have uh, graduated I graduated uh, from STK Garut in 2006, that is my first strata, and then I continue my study uh, for my master's degree uh, in 2010, and then I graduated in 2013 in from Muhammad Jakarta, and then still I'm continuing my postural uh, doctoral program, my my doctoral program in UP Bandung, also majored in English education pro program. Okay, and then uh, class uh, for a literal reading. Um, I have uh, uh, something different than uh, the other reading that you have experienced when you are in a senior high school. In my subject literal reading, we are going to talk about how to um, how to comprehend the text uh, further than before because uh, reading is uh, one of the receptive skill. Yeah? Uh, there are two kinds of skill in English, receptive and also productive skill. Receptive skill is the skill when we have received the information, when we gain the information from other resources like reading and also listening. And for the productive skill is the skill when we have to speak to the others, when we have to write. To the other so uh, reading and also listening is the, the receptive skill and then speaking and writing is the productive skill and if we talk about reading so the most important thing is we have to build our motivation to read because um, reading is very important uh, while you're reading using your tablet while you you while, while you're reading using your pc or uh, a handphone but uh, the point is the material that you read you have to read uh, because you are eager to know the information uh, that relate with your reading materials for example, if you want to know about uh, what is pronunciation, for example, what is speaking? So you try to uh, search 
the text or the book that relate with those skills, with those subjects, with pronunciation or with uh, speaking. That's how we do reading in tertiary level or in college level. Because if we uh, read some article without any purpose or without any goals, I think it wastes the time because you are in tertiary level. So you have to read a lot that relate with your subject, that relate with your um, objective goal, with your English skill. So that's how we can improve our skill. That's how we can improve our, uh, our knowledge. Yeah, uh, because we have a goal and the way uh, to get the goal is by reading, listening, writing, and also speaking. Okay, so um, this is our first material. It's about uh, understanding structure, active reading. So if we talk about active reading, uh, so it's not a, it's not the same with the general reading or a reading a skill that we always do when uh, we were in senior high school, when we were in junior high school, yeah. But active reading in this part, it's how we can uh, have a goal first before we get the reading. Jadi kalau kita berbicara tentang active reading itu berbeda berbeda dengan reading reading yang lainnya. Artinya kita mencoba aktif, mencoba mempunyai goal tujuan terlebih dahulu sebelum kita membaca sebuah artikel. Artinya artikel yang kita baca, artikel yang kita kumpulkan itu memang ada tujuannya. Gitu. Why do you need to know this? If you ask how to read the passage for school, would you say just read it? Artinya ketika uh, Anda belajar di sekolah atau di kampus, itu kan kalau dikasih teks itu kan pasti ada tujuannya. Karena ada sebuah materi yang perlu dipahami, maka ada teks, maka ada artikel yang harus dibaca. Itu yang dimaksud dengan active reading. How we build our active reading. Gitu ya, bagaimana kita menumbuhkan kemampuan active reading kita. Di sini disebutkan bahwa many students are unaware that there are effective methods of reading and learning for college success. Jadi banyak uh, mahasiswa itu yang belum sadar bahwa ada metode yang efektif uh, dalam membaca dan juga dalam belajar untuk kesuksesan di wilayah kampus. Reading actually start with some investigating before you start reading a passage from top to bottom. Jadi reading itu sebenarnya permulaan ketika anda uh, mulai apa mulai untuk uh, mulai untuk uh, mengawali uh, sebuah pembelajaran di sini disebutkan some investigating before you start reading passage artinya adalah reading itu digunakan uh, setelah kita mempunyai tujuan sebelumnya gitu ya Se sebelumnya kita sudah uh, Men, apa menginvestigasi artinya ketika kita mau membaca <coughs> kita ada pertanyaan dulu gitu ya kita questioning to ourselves ya yeah. uh, mau mencari tahu apa gitu misalkan mau mencari tahu mengenai apa itu bahasa Inggris misalkan nah kemudian kita cari literatur atau referensi yang memang mendukung terhadap topik tersebut itu yang disebut sebagai active reading. In this chapter, you are introduced to strategies that you that work with your brain to learn new information through reading. The skills of surveying, previewing, recognizing topic, and looking for the organization of a whole reading work with your brain to process new information. Jadi, reading itu tidak hanya sekedar membaca, tapi uh, reading itu harus diawali dengan survey. Gitu ya. Survey dari, dari kita sendiri. Kita mau mencari apa. Kemudian nanti ada previewing. Mencoba untuk preview. Mencoba untuk mempreview sebuah artikel. Kemudian recognizing the topic. Artikel ini topiknya apa sih? Apakah relate dengan topik yang saya cari atau tidak? Kemudian looking for the organization of a reading work with your brain. Dan coba untuk mencerna keseluruhan yang ada di dalam teks itu. Uh, apa To process new information. Untuk memproses informasi baru dari reading tersebut. Gitu ya. 
Okay, one consistent finding in memory research is that the brain requires organized information to learn. The skills you learn in this chapter will empower you to encode or submit information to your brain in an organized form that your brain can digest. Artinya adalah kemampuan reading itu harus bisa mencerna informasi yang kemudian bisa mengincrease our knowledge atau our uh, our information before gitu. Jadi uh, bacaan itu harus bisa meningkatkan kemampuan kita dalam menggali informasi yang ada. In using the same organization construct your brain retrieves information as well. Pre reading techniques and identify identifying topic allow you to see the organization the writer intends and work with your brain to help you understand the major points in a reading. Jadi pre-reading techniques, uh, reading techniques sebelum uh, dilaksanakan pembacaan sebuah teks gitu ya, seperti surveying, previewing gitu ya, and identify identifying topic dan mengidentifikasi topik yang ada di dalam sebuah teks itu itu adalah untuk membantu otak kita mencerna sebuah informasi. Jadi otak kita itu harus uh, otak kita itu harus dilatih untuk bisa mencerna informasi yang ada melalui membaca seperti ini, gitu ya. Nah, encoding and retrieval, ya. Yeah. To be an efficient reader and learner, you need to know something about how your brain process, ya. Yeah. Jadi untuk menjadi seorang pembaca yang efisien, ya. Yeah, Efisien itu bisa memanfaatkan waktu dengan singkat gitu ya untuk mendapatkan informasi yang sebanyak-banyaknya. You need to know something about how your brain process, bagaimana memproses otak, bagaimana otak itu memproses informasi. The theme of this, the first chapter is memory and the brain. Uh, the, uh, through this uh, reading, you will learn how to work in harmony rather than in conflict with your brain's natural tendencies. This will make you a better learner and will increase your chance for success in college level reading study. How do you approach a reading to maximize your change your your uh, your chance yeah of learning and doing well in college courses jadi bagaimana uh, kita membuat reading itu untuk memaksimalkan pembelajaran di tertiary level atau di college level ini ya nah um, ini sebagai awalan saja jadi di sini di materi awal itu ada beberapa kata ada 20 kata kemudian anda bisa isi yang 20 kata ini apakah kata-kata yang ada di sini bisa dipronounskan dengan baik atau tidak bisa dipronounskan dengan baik gitu ya sebelum anda lihat kamus gitu ya kemudian how many vocabularies that you understand from the text above kemudian berapa kata yang bisa anda tahu ya ada 20 kata di sini eh, dari 20 kata ini apakah anda tahu maknanya atau tidak gitu ya itu sebelum anda lihat kamus nantinya nah jadi nanti anda bisa mengukur sendiri ya jadi kalau misalkan kurang dari 50 persen dari 20 kata itu bisa dipronounce eh, bisa dipronounskan dengan baik atau bisa dimengerti artinya dengan baik maka anda perlu belajar bahasa Inggris lebih banyak lagi tapi kalau misalkan lebih dari 50 persen berarti bahasa Inggris anda sudah bagus dan perlu ditingkatkan lagi dan atau perlu dipertahankan karena bahasa Inggris itu kan skill ya kemampuan ketika kita misalkan tidak suka berbicara bahasa Inggris maka suka hilang ya artinya kita kaku lagi kalau berbicara bahasa Inggris you may write your conclusion about this simple test then hand it to me through Google uh, kali ini. karena ini materinya dulu ya pas online jadi through Google Classroom jadi nanti saya akan memberikan juga Google Form di mana anda bisa mengupload tugas ini ya supaya Uh, saya tahu dan Anda juga mengetahui bagaimana kemampuan bahasa Inggris Anda selama ini. Baik, itu saja untuk pertemuan yang pertama ini. Nanti nanti saya akan berikan juga materi untuk pertemuan yang kedua. Mungkin berupa video penjelasan juga. Dan insya Allah mungkin nanti saya juga ke kelas. Uh, Mudah-mudahan kita disehatkan semuanya dan dilancarkan semuanya. Uh, baiklah, terima kasih atas perhatiannya. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.